Hello YouTube, Ride 129, check it in from South Florida, sunny South Florida. Weather's actually starting to get nice here on this October morning. Uh, pardon the background noise, there's some construction going on in my backyard. And I got a pull pump running, so hopefully that's not interfering with this quality. And I was in the dentist this morning and I've got Novocaine, so probably not the best day to make a video, but this is going to be short and sweet. And it talks about this guy right here, the sliding cargo tray. That's a factory Toyota option. I did not want this on this car. Uh, my car came with it. I didn't have an option and I really desperately wanted a 22. Forerunner, as you could see in my last video, but I used it today for the first time. I'm in the bowling business, as you can see. I have 150 pounds of bowling balls here, and it was actually really nice to stand at the back and be able to put the bowling balls there. And um, it's very going to be very functional. I think I'm going to like it uh, more than I thought. It's got really nice tie-down spots here, as you can see. Um, very, very typical Toyota built to the last through just about anything you throw at it. The only time I don't think it'd be nice is if you had the seats folded down. Then it would stick up just a little bit and you couldn't put a mattress there, I think. I don't know. But then when you slide it apart, again, 150 bowling balls, 150 pounds of bowling balls, and it's just a simple operation, locks in place. Of course, it's not nearly loaded to capacity. She'll hold 440 pounds. But um, I think I'm gonna actually like this. And when I was researching it, I didn't see many videos on this as simple and, and um, easy as it is. Um, but you can see it comes out quite a bit. You can sit up there really nice, especially if you take the all-weather cargo tray off. I might actually replace that with the carpeted one. But it's kind of a, a neat thing. I don't know what you guys think, but I'm going to use it. I don't have a choice because if you go to take them out, I, I already got underneath the car. It's quite an operation. This isn't something you take out in 30 minutes. I also want to show if I get up there a little bit behind it. You can, it's two stages too where you can click it. But this guy right here comes up for some storage, which is a nice feature. And of course the tie down rings that are standard on all models. All right, well, hopefully this helps some of you guys if you're on your option list and you're deciding whether to put this in or not. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.